Hi, Jason Canal, GQ Barbecue. Are you trying to impress your girlfriend, your wife, or just to get that girl to go out with you? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make the ultimate surf and turf. We're gonna use prime ribeye, and we're gonna make a delicious garlic butter prawn. If you wanna see how we do that, it's coming up right now. Let's talk steak. I'm holding two cuts of ribeye right here. The first cut is a prime ribeye. And you can see all these different striations of fat. As you know, fat is where it's at. You're looking at about the top three to 4% of all cattle in America are in a prime ribeye. So it's the best 3% of all cattle here in America. Compare that now to the choice ribeye. The choice is about 50 to 55% of all cattle. So one in two of the cattle get a choice rating. Just looking at the spinalis, which is one of the best bites of the cow in my opinion, this thing is riddled with fat and that's where all the flavor is. So I got the Blackstone griddle cranked all the way up on high heat. We're going to get a delicious sear on those steaks, develop that beautiful brown crust because that's where all the flavor is. I'm going to be flipping it about every minute and a half. And what that's going to do is that's going to prevent it from cooking down into the meat so we can maintain as much of a bumper to bumper medium rare as possible. Let me know down in the comments below if I did a good job of that. So these steaks are pretty thick, about an inch and a half or so. I'm gonna season them up with kosher salt, black pepper and GQ rub, one third, one third, one third. Hear that sizzle? That sizzle tells me it's making a delicious, beautiful brown crust. So I'm gonna let these go a minute and a half and then I'm gonna flip them over. You notice I did not put any oil or butter down. These things are loaded with fat. I want that fat to render out and basically just cook a confit onto that steak. It's now been three minutes, minute and a half on each side, so I'm gonna give it a flip. And I'm gonna continue to do this every minute and a half. So that these steaks cook evenly and get heat from both the top and bottom, I'm gonna put a lid on top of them. I got some big, beautiful shrimp here. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shell off, leaving the tail in place. It's also a vein that runs right through the back of these. Go ahead and take that out too. So your shrimp, once deveined and peeled, should look like this. We're gonna take these steaks to an internal temperature of 125 degrees because they are so thick and we are cooking them so hot, they're gonna carry over, cook about five degrees. That'll end up right where we want them at 130 for a good, pink, warm, medium rare. I'm gonna make a compound butter for our steaks. Compound butter is just a fancy word for butter and something else. Got some softened, salted butter. To that butter, I'm gonna add some fresh herbs. Today it's gonna to be parsley and of course some minced garlic. The steaks, I'm gonna put in this pan. So I'm gonna add the butter to it and I wanna capture all of the juice that the steaks release as well as that butter as it melts, it's gonna create a wonderful board sauce. First thing you notice about these steaks, it's this golden brown crust. It's nice and firm. It's gonna create some delicious texture when you bite into it to go with that warm, tender, pink meat on the inside. Also, this butter is gonna melt down and combine with the natural beef juices that come off of here, and it's gonna make for a delicious sauce. So I turned these two dials down to low. Since I pulled those steaks off, they've been low for a couple of minutes. Turn these guys off from where we cook the steaks. I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimps. These are gonna cook at a low heat. If we cook too high, they're gonna get overcooked and nobody likes tough shrimp. To those shrimps, I'm gonna add some of that compound butter with the garlic and parsley. The shrimps are really gonna absorb all that butter flavor and garlic. It's gonna give a nice flavor to the shrimps. I'm gonna keep turning these guys. You can already see it's turning pink. Once they get pink and start to turn towards one another, they're done. The smells I'm getting off here are absolutely fantastic, intense garlic. Now that they're done, I wanna hit them with one last burst of flavor and that's citrus. The acid in this is gonna cut through that butter. These shrimps are ready to go. I'm gonna throw down some sage and thyme into that garlic butter, sweat those out, bring out the natural flavors of those herbs. So our shrimps are done. Those took total probably about five to seven minutes. Our steaks have been resting for 15 minutes. Let's see if that butter's melted on them and created a good natural juice. Look at that. Now to send it way over the top, there's that beef juice and that rendered garlic butter that I was telling you about. Put that smile on your girlfriend or wife's face don't forget a little bit of citrus for the missus. 
Some crab legs would be nice too. Crab legs, ribeye, shrimp, it's all good for me. Let me know down below in the comments what would make for your perfect surf and turf meal. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Going after this spinalis. Can't pass that up. Mmm. Beefy, garlicky, absolutely delicious. Mmm. I'm ready to go to town on the rest of this surf and turf. Jason Canal, GQ Barbecue, I'll see you on the next one. Honey, it's ready!